Tuesday, May 3rd. The time is 5.32. The finance committee meeting. This meeting is being recorded. Excellent. Sorry. Welcome, Chairman Deedy. Okay, so if we uh, want to follow our agenda here tonight, we can start with public comment. Anybody, Mr. Deedy, are you on a public comment mode or you're just on a responding mode? No, I'm just, I'm just Okay. I don't like it. All right, thank you. All right, the next item is the minutes of uh, April 26th. Oh, okay. Good job. Oh, yeah, okay, let's start with roll call attendance. Hart, <laughs> present. Paul, present. You. Thank you. present. And you present. Terry A. Miss, present. Karen DeMaio, present. Alita D. Maria, present. And does that show everybody that's on? Okay, thanks for pointing that out. Sure. I was trying to make the meeting. Test for you. All right, so minutes of uh, April 26th. I, um, Did you actually find something, Terry, or just kidding? No, no, I just said I didn't find something. All right, because I went through these uh, one time, or two times during the weekend. Uh, I didn't notice anything that was out of line. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes because apparently he got leader dominated the whole meeting. So yes, I'll and I will motion. second that motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. All right, any other questions? Hearing that, I'll ask for favor, Art, I. Paul, I. Richard, I. Terry, I. Karen, I. Alita, I. Okay, thank you. Wait, it's going again? Not <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's see where we're going with this, right? <laughs> okay. Draft pros and cons. Draft. So we start with the special town meeting. And that was, uh, would that be by or that was just a standard uh, year to year? I just had a question on Article 2 in the pros for the CARES Act. Yes. Um, however, some activities were not covered. I think it was explained by you, Laura, last week that the reason why the CARES Act invoices are here is because you didn't get them in in time to be paid by the CARES Act, not the fact that they weren't covered. It almost made it sound like we spent money and it wasn't going to be covered by, we erroneously spent the money and it wasn't covered by CARES Act, but I don't think that's the case. It's just that we had ordered it and we couldn't pay it in time for CARES Act to all right, so, cover it. Yeah. so if you read yeah. that portion of CARES yeah. Act, I don't think it says that. I think it makes it sound like we spent money that we shouldn't have. Well, okay, so if you change that to some activities were uh, not covered due to a Time with us, a time. Well, then I, I mean, we need to. I, yeah, I understand what you said. To clarify that, I'm not sure the right word. However, some activities were not covered. That was actually Terry's article, and I think I revised it. Yeah. So I'm responsible for anything that's good or otherwise. With the uh, with the version here. Yeah. I mean, basically, they became. How about due to time? Due to time constraints on the program. I mean. Because dollar amount you know, like getting, non eligible get, costs, they weren't. They were eligible costs. We just didn't get 
the invoices in in time to be actually covered. Right. But well, the product is. didn't come in. Yeah. Some of the stuff didn't come in. Yeah. <laughs> Some activities were not covered due to the timeline required by participation in the program. So delivery times? Uh, yeah. Delivery does that time. does that make it sound like we didn't get our stuff in on time? time? Yeah. I think it's yeah. more delivery no, times. I don't think so. Due to timeline constraints established by the program, I don't think it points a finger. What is the reason why we didn't get the deliveries in time? Was it a supply chain issue? It was a supply chain. All right. Yeah, I'd rather make it sound like it was a supply. We ordered them on time. not received in time due to supply chain issues. The the vendor, the vendor delays or something, whatever. Yeah, I mean, keep, it, keep it simple due mm -hmm. to. Vendor delays. Which, which yeah. Yeah. Blame somebody. Vendor delays. Cost recovered at town. However, some. We're not covered due to vendor supply issue. Some activities were. <laughs> Well, I guess we need to, to change the, the next pair of sets as well, right? Yeah. They were eligible. Uh, uh, we're not delivering. Huh? Flex. Eligible costs. Or delivered on time. Possible to pay for outside for outside of the grant. Products and services. Products and services. Not delivered in time. Or something to that effect. Supply chain delay uh, resulted in us ended up having to bear the cost of whatever. service and products that were taken. So did somebody write that down? Was that like good? Almost sort of kind of. I, I didn't get it. Excuse me, I just got an important uh, supply chain delays. No, I don't put supply chain. That's okay. too much. That's, that's, that's However, made up. Some that's an over. Some invoices were not covered due to vendor delays. It's just the goods weren't received in time. From the then, I like that vendor delays. That's what I okay. However, some invoices were not covered due to vendor delays. These eligible yeah. vendor delays. These dollar amounts the reflect eligible costs, which the town, which the town would have which were not delivered would to the have town been in time. The not delivered to the town in time. The dollar, no. the dollar be reimbursed. Eligible costs that were not billed to the town. We need an English teacher on this finance committee. I think. Semantics are important. Semantics. You look confused. Um, so we're just waiting. <laughs> and I think it's a you know kind of uh, some of it was billing, some of it ineligible. It's you know. Okay. How about most of these costs were covered at no expense to the town. However, some invoices were not covered due to vendor delays. But these these amounts, these dollar amounts reflect eligible cost that were not billed to the town in time to be paid by the grant. That's fun. Okay, I'll, I'll catch you after. All right. All right. I don't want to hold up. Is everybody okay. okay with that? Okay. Sure. Well, thank you, Karen. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, that's good. Sounds yeah. Right that's good. You're right. Yeah. Perfect. Um, you vote on all these as we go or at the end? We'll wait till the end, okay? And we'll just do as a uh, as amended. How's that? Okay, so Article Three, right? Or no, we had cons for uh, Article Two. 
Pretty generic. Oh, yeah. Pretty generic. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll give it that. Yep. Article three, other post employment benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everybody yeah. right? Absolutely. Con? Well, I work for the town. I expect my retirement is pretty simple. Okay, but we have for everything, and I don't want to prolong this, but for everything else that we have, like the con for, we have a con for everything, even if it's like a, a no brainer type thing so do we do we take the stance we're going to have a con by saying by not paying this we're in violation of our town retirement plans or something like that no because we're not first of all okay. it says this is really like volunteer extra a lot of towns don't even do this correct putting extra money into this that's what that is the reason towns are allowed to do this is because most towns including ours were incurring long-term liability on their uh, post employment benefits funding. Okay. It's all to conclude it. So, this is basically like your catch up program. Yeah. So that in the future, we're not behind the already identified amount that we're going to be liable for. So, isn't that a con then? If we don't do this, yes, it we'll is. be behind. It, it absolutely right. is. This is to avoid future shortfalls so in I, that, I think in we that to point. That. We have just for clarification, we have put in the cons non a number of times so. yeah that's what i'm just I'll put that in that's yeah no let's put it in i mean there's something like to that effect all right did anybody write that down so if we do not if we do not approve if we not if we do not contribute to this fund on a regular basis we risk future shortfalls post employment Benefits fund funding. On the one hand, you're telling the people that work for the town this is what you're going to get, and then the day they put in their retirement papers, it's like, oh, <laughs> we have a little problem. <laughs> That's basically what it is. So, if you're going to offer them. On one side, you have to fund it. On the other side, it's basic math. All right, so Karen, you're going to have the written revision. I, I think if we do not contribute to the post employment benefit trust fund, we would risk future shortfalls. Say that. Future. <laughs> And funding. All right, so let me ask Laura a question just, just out of curiosity. So we employ all these people, we say, look, we're gonna give you this. What does does the state ever come back to us and go, hey? You guys are like really short. Better come up with this. And more, it's listed as a liability on um, financial review because it's, you know, some of our bonding, you know, showing that we are trying to reduce the liability. Right. Uh, uh, well, yeah. I was just kind of curious because I'm a retired Teamster right. and our pension fund was seriously underfunded and the president stepped in and funded it for us. So I don't have to, because you could retire in five years down the line, they could say, hey, guess what? We're out of money. So your pension, you're done. Yeah, I don't know the... But so, yeah. but yeah, but that's what ends up happening is people historically they offer all this stuff up front. People go, Wow, this is just such a great deal for me. And then you get in there, you go through the process, then you retire. It's like, Hey, remember what we said we'd give you? We're sorry. So, 
but the the uh, state doesn't basically step in and make us or mandate that we. Sure. Yeah, okay. yes, thank you. Yeah, I believe that process started years ago. That's why we're doing this. Okay. At one point, someone said, "Hey, this isn't right." Right. Back in the day, we had a million employees. Too. Right. Exactly. BW had twenty-five right. guys at one time. We were right. really building roads. Right. Yeah. 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 But anyways, so that's what this really is about. Right. At one point, someone did say, "You need to pay up more." You have to pay the pipe, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I can't be responsible for what Hamden County Retirement Board or right. a crap show. But, yeah. But okay. we'll do our yeah. best. Yeah. And then it can fall apart on their end. Right. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Right, it was done before. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. We have okay. It. So we're all set with the uh, employment benefits. That's Article Three. Okay. We'll move along to Article Four. No what is Article 4? All right, the cost effective way to ensure the, the ability of our Department of Public Works and the ambulance, oh, the DPD tractor. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's your right. To address the needs of our community by paying for these capital expenditures out of free cash, we'll be able to avoid the cost of bonding and the effects it would have on our tax rate. That's, that's the only thing I was going through. Right. So okay. that's, what? Is it is it effect or effect? E e the effect because it's a, a result. Mm -hmm. Effect is oh, okay. All right, so that's that's the lower end. Yeah. So and the police one. Okay. Supposed to be effect. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just going. Effect. Yeah. I see. We did an English teacher on the line. Absolutely. <laughs> Anytime I use those two words, meantime, I, we'll I stop. That means that we'll take care of it. <laughs> effect, effect is the verb. Effect is the. It, it's kind of, effect is kind of like the, the end result. The effect is what puts the pressure to cause the result. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out. All right, so is that okay for the pro? Yes. Without getting too far again down into the details. Con, if this article does not pass, we will leave our DPW and first responders at a disadvantage when addressing the health and safety needs of our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Okay, Article 5. This article is necessary to repair and replace town roads that have deteriorated over the recent years for a variety of reasons. Paying for these repairs out of free cash is a cost effective way for the town to continue addressing the conditions of our roads while avoiding the cost of bonding and the effect it would have on our tax rate. Same thing. Yeah. Or? Yeah. All right. So that works, I think. Kind of coincides with the, uh, the effects on the tax rate on the public. It's the con if the article does not pass, we will continue to see further deterioration of our roads and will fall even further behind in addressing the situation. It actually should be rewarded that even though we are spending seven hundred thousand dollars, your roads are still going to continue to deteriorate. It would be a more truer statement, but do you want to put that in no, there? No, I don't want to put that, but I'm, 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> No, or that's one point two million. I think we, we did get two hundred ninety-seven thousand. They signed for it yesterday. I don't know where whatever comes in from the state. They found some more pothole money for us. Um, yeah, so it's almost yeah. three hundred grand. So is that right. part of chapter ninety? Uh, no, but it was separate. But separate. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Good. Really all right. So we're all set with the yeah, special town meeting. <laughs> pros and cons. We have a vote to accept as written and amended articles one, two, three, four, and five. I'd like to make such a motion. And I would like to second that motion. Any other discussion? All in favor are aye. All aye. Terry aye. Karen aye. Alita aye. <coughs> So it is, and so it shall be. For you. All right. 
annual town meeting, Article 6. Town hall roof and HVAC replacement, borrowing authorization. I think I wrote this. So, uh, this is terrible. Throw the eggs at me. <laughs> <laughs> throw the eggs at me. No, it, no it's fine. I, I like it. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. So, that works, the pro? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That works. All right, the con. Mickey roof, lousy air handling system. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Is, uh, too. They, something going to be available to talk sure. to them that? Sure. Like that too. But that's what that, whatever you need. Be fun. Fun. Just, yeah. Just, just, I don't want to talk for two hours either. You had a good point. Where's, uh, where's the. Uh, <laughs> All right. There's our moderator. Moving that's along to so Article 100%. 9, right? Article yeah. 9, the annual budget. This is the can. This was just a carryover. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Article ten, revolving fund annual spending limit authorization. This was another yeah. carryover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Article eleven, community preservation annual budget. That's not a can one. You what? Yeah. That's another can one. It is, but let's let's look at this for a minute. And yeah. the reason I'm going to do that is because at last uh, the outdoor annual town meeting we had mm -hmm. in the summer it was actually it was May or June, I forget. Uh, a citizen questioned a couple of things about our our description of the uh, Union Preservation okay. Fund budget. And uh, so the pro in this case says taxpayers agreed to pay a three percent surcharge on real estate tax bills i think last did we rewrite this we, re we did a little bit yes okay because this is different than last year because last year it said three percent tax and somebody raised an issue with the fact that we use the word tax and that it was really only a surcharge so i researched tax and surcharge and they are at some point interchangeable so it's a matter of semantics, um, in my in, in my final opinion. But nevertheless, the issue was raised by uh, one of the people in the audience that it should have said surcharge instead of tax. Uh, the other issue that I would raise about that sentence, um, is that it, it, it doesn't mention the fact that commercial and uh, industrial properties are tax at the full valuation, 3% tax of their full valuation, not over $100,000. And that's always left out because people don't think about it that much, but I think it'd be important to put it back I in. Agree. It should be added. Uh, Taxpayers agree to pay a 3% surcharge on real estate tax bills. But that should be clarified as well. It should, it should be real estate tax bills with an evaluation over one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, I mean, to right. pretend you're telling somebody about this that doesn't know what the heck it is. So use words. This is the way I look at this. You use words to be, that describe. It needs to be two sentences. Okay, the taxpayer pays. Okay, and after the first hundred thousand dollars preservation fund, <throat> end it there. Commercial property is taxed from their whole valuation. I'll, you know, add it like another sentence. Leave that, leave that first sentence as it is. It's very clear that the average person can read that and realize that you pay 3% over the first $100,000 valuation. Add another sentence in there. Commercial property, however, pays the 3% at their total valuation. How about this? The taxpayers agreed to pay a 3% surcharge on real estate tax bills with residential taxpayers paying 3% after after the first $100,000 of taxable valuation. valuation and commercial properties being paid, paid, paid 3% on the full value. Right. Right. Just, just to make it Want clear. me to write, write that out? Yeah. Okay. Right. The taxpayers are going to reset to get rid of it. The taxpayers agreed to pay the real estate tax bills 
So I don't think we need that in the past it was dollar for dollar match is what we're right. saying then. You know, no, I don't history. like I don't like that either. Okay. I think we can uh, get rid of that sentence. And as far as the next sentence, it says the government matches the taxpayer contribution. The state government, I think it should be more explicit yes, when I say the I government, agree. it should be the state government matches on a 3% surcharge. They don't match on a 1% or 2%, I don't believe. I believe they only match on the 3%. Uh, they match some for the one, and then some more for- The big match is on three. Yeah, the big one. So if we did decide to reduce it, let's say we all, if you can get it by, it's, hey, look, let's just do one or 2%. Don't even match. get started. Uh, well, okay. 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 Well, but listen, listen, I, but that, that sentence should be pre, right, pre <laughs> described as ideally the government matches the contribution. Ideally they do. On, right. Right, because they don't. They don't do it. A, they it's they, not a, they it's really not a dollar for dollar. Right, they exactly. don't change from yeah, year so, to year. Yeah. So, but I think if it was more explicit, you know, just, just, just I, don't, I don't think yeah. you want to get down into the weeds. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know. So ideally, the government, the state government, matches yes. the taxpayer contribution, not the federal. The state. The state Historically, there have been. Uh, 100% matches and less than 100% matches. Just a percentage at some yeah. determined number, determined yeah. percentage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, changes Historically, five minutes is a waste of half an hour at town meeting trying to explain it to everybody. We don't, we don't, we don't need to tell them about one and two percent. Yeah. That's not what we do. Yeah. So yeah, we're. I mean, that's a different. That's a different yeah, town different meeting. Thing. And that's a can of worms you don't want to open. And that needs to be too solid. How about this? Historically, the state has fulfilled ah. their original promise <laughs> of an um, even match. Yeah, it's not even an even. Oh. I know it's, <laughs> it's not. not an even, it's not an even match. It's not even listening. Didn't they do it? Did they match us the first couple of years? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, sorry, I haven't studied this point. So I did. <laughs> Really but this year it's almost back to it's a great year this year but it's almost back to 100 right, so all we're trying to do is say that historically the the fund has at sometimes been matched by the state at others it hasn't that's all or just leave it all out past couple of years that statement is not accurate because it's been Darn near 100% this year. Really close, if not 100%. This past cycle. So, Nina, you're taking responsibility for uh, rewriting that? <laughs> I saw the first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> the right. Just spend a little time on this because it's uh, a couple of words here or there make a big difference in what we're trying to express. Taxpayers, which government? The state, state. state. The yeah. state government matches. He promises they didn't keep. Right. Oh, state no, government that matches a percentage of tax pay. Yeah. I don't have time. They're busy trying to figure out who leaked that thing from the Supreme Court, so they're kind of tied up right now. State so. government matches a percentage of taxpayers' contribution, <laughs> tax <their> contributions. Um, <laughs> Yeah. 
read that again. You got brain freeze. All right, the state government matches a percentage of taxpayer contributions with the contribution rate being determined annually. The state contribution. Yeah. Rid of this in the past dollar for dollar match, although that Right, case or yes. All right, this article outlines the transfers of the individual reserves within the community preservation. Can we qualify reserves with categories of reserves? Is that, is that too wordy? Is that unreasonable? I mean, the individual reserves again, somebody who doesn't know what we're talking about, transfers of the individual reserves of what? Right. It's the categories okay. of the reserves. All right, I was say, this article outlines the transfer of individual reserves within the community preservation fund at a rate of 10% for as required by the laws that rule the community preservation because that could change. They could change that and say we're gonna we're gonna want you to put you know they can change that anytime they want. They can change that to so it's twenty percent for housing or historic or whatever. Housing. What, what, what else is there? Works this year, but historical. I thought that 10% was established as part of the act, Terry. Yeah, but I'm saying it could, this, they could change the rules. Like they change the rules on. I don't know that we can change those numbers. Not okay. us, I'm talking saying the state. Oh, okay. The state they they change. Change. Yeah. Right. Well, right now, so yeah. this article outlines the transfer of the individual reserves within the community preservation fund at a rate of 10% for, 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 for each. Low income housing, historical, and open space. But I would within, just say within, housing. Within the community. Fund. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll to transfer the individual reserves within the community preservation at a rate of 10% for each recreational open space. And Recreation and open space, housing and historical each. recreation and open space. Yep. For each. Recreational. Historical mm -hmm. and open space. By the law that rules the community. Preservation Committee, which the town of Southwick has agreed to. The balance of the tax generated money is 70%. All right, then we can't do because we have housing, historical, recreational, and open space. Recreational and open space is, one, one, is one. So that gives you 30. Seventy percent will be deposited into the general business fund. Okay, so here, the taxpayer agrees to pay a three percent surcharge on real estate tax bills, with residential taxpayers paying three percent on property valuation above one hundred thousand dollars, and commercial taxpayers paying three percent on full valuation. The state government matches a percentage of taxpayers' contributions with the state contribution rate being determined annually. This article outlines the transfers of the individual reserves within the Community Preservation Fund at a rate of 10% for each housing, historical, and recreational open space, as required by the laws that rule the Preservation Committee, which the Town of Southwick has agreed to. The balance of the tax-generated money, 70%, will be deposited in the General Fund Reserve Fund. Sounds good. 
So if you can't read it, you gotta listen to it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to read it. Uh, yeah, but I got some arrows going. <laughs> that sounds good. That's good. All right. All right. So we're all set with that. The con. If we don't approve it, we'll be in violation of our agreement with the Commonwealth and town. Yep. Okay, okay we're good with that. Yep. Our 12 committee administrative and operating expenses. Um, I just had one small thing uh, where it says not to exceed 5% of the collected. Mm. It's not collective. It's whatever. Well, they just collect like ED. Not just what That's right. Yep. So this margin was applied to the ED was probably there. Cons none. Or do we want to do a con? I don't know. I don't know what the cons would be. I'm just wondering. Be in violation of our uh agreement same as it said on the other one we should probably put that put the same time up there. yeah are we putting the same thing the same con as article 11 just if Violation of reservation. Yeah. Would we be? And do, do we have to do this five percent? No. We can do up to. Not to exceed. Not, not to, exceed. to exceed. Yeah. But we have to do something. So the con, the con would the con would actually be there would be no administrative monies to operate the. Committee yeah. and their work. Okay. Right. That's, that's not yeah. so much a violation yeah. of the state. Right. Yeah. 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 Hired someone using that money to sort stones. So we're good with the count. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I did. If we do not pass this article, there would be no administrative monies available to help administer the funds or distribute the funds, administer the funds. Administer the program. Administer the program. Oh, do we have a line item budget for the CPC for their thing and then they're going to take money out of their receipt so we're kind of double dipping here what's the I just you know what I'm saying do we have an operations account for the CPC in our budget not inside the bu budget no the okay. CPC you know operates. a lot of this administrative Operates. Uh, okay. I uh, just, they have a, okay. I just, administrative. Okay. I just wanted um, to make sure on one hand that we weren't giving them money to run your thing and no, then they're taking they 5% out. The the money. No, they the use fund. this money okay. to All right. pay their secretary just a point of order. and their, okay. their expenses. All right. Thank you. Okay. We're all set with uh, 12, 13 Community Preservation Committee Brass Rail Meeting House. I think the con is pretty straightforward. You all set with the pro? Yeah, the pro, it, it, it basically describes, and then the, the con just basically says, hey, this is a privately owned for profit business. You're setting a precedent. If you want to go down this road, it's, they're, they're probably not going to be the only people that apply for funds. So it's, it's uh, 
Do you, do you also want to add to the con? Where is Smith all you want? The yeah. building is listed historic and master historical commission and under current ownership. We're not open the to the public to gather for events which yeah. bring sure. people at, at yep. the end. Yeah, that's like fine. And yeah. Right. The, yeah, that's fine. I, I reread that and thought the same thing and I didn't want to edit my so what are we what are we changing there? What was that? All right, the building is listed as historic with the Massachusetts Historical Commission and under current ownership, comma, is open to the public to gather for events which bring people into the town to support local business. I can say this and other this and other local yeah. businesses. Yes. All right. Local businesses, Jen, you're going to do local businesses. Mm -hmm. All right, together for events which bring people into the town to support. Is that also and support, or just say that already? Historical sites, local historical. Has supported this or not? So I didn't. Have, the only at the I talked to Gene from Community uh, Preservation Committee, so I don't didn't have any documentation from actual. So I kept to what I had in front. She sent me the application and everything, so I just stuck to what I had in front of me. So didn't mention the local. Not that I saw. I could have missed it when I was reading it through, but don't you don't recall that? John? There wouldn't be any legal application. That then each group goes out and gets the support, right? So historical society, right? So they're saying, do you know whether it was? I believe, yeah. I believe they do support it because it is historical. Yeah. Just recheck my email yeah. while we're here. So also, amongst yourselves. So regardless of anything else, if it's a historical building. On the other hand, if whoever's going to get up talk about this for the town, certainly would be noting that. They say that maybe the historic committee approves of it. Maybe um, Western Mass uh, historical approves of it, and ten other things that we don't even know about. So, all right. Um, the only words I have a change. The only words I have a problem with is under current ownership. So let's say uh, let's say two years down the line. Somebody thinks, wow, this would be like a great house on the lake, and they buy it and take it private. Now, we just spent all this money. It's just under current ownership. Well, does that mean that that building couldn't be turned into a private revenue? You know, it's not so good for that. But. Somebody somebody could come in and buy it. We just gave them $30,000 for a ramp. Yeah. Yeah. Two years later, we're not using it. So well, it is under the current ownership. Under though. the current ownership, right? Yeah. But, which, but there's these are these are things that can change down the line. Yeah. You know, it, it's you know you have to look. Yeah, are you part of the cons? Um, yeah, it's yeah the things you know privately owned right now. Uh, it's it's a privately owned, open for public, you know, or for profit, whatever. But. Two years down the line, somebody could buy that place and go, wow, you know, I got like a really big family and, uh, you know, we're going to put a gate up and uh, this is a great house. I got access to the lake. Not, not so well, for that, though. We just spent 30 grand and it's not so for that. <laughs> that be considered probably spot zoning disallowed by the state. Okay. Well, but I'm just. I know, just, but yeah, just, why, why, why bother with that? We're, yeah. yeah, we're dry, drawing like a hypothesis of what okay. could happen. Yeah. Yes. And the yes. issue yes. is this is a privately owned for profit business. Right, right here, right now. That the only that's the, 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 table. That's, right. so that's the main concern. Yeah. So I just checked my email and I went through. So there's nothing that I had that said it was proof. So if we know it just is, then we can put it in there, but I didn't want to state something that I didn't have. Okay, that's for. fine. So Terry agrees with that. Yeah, we can. Somebody on the town floor can support that. Yeah. I mean, so exactly gonna, what so to yeah. sell it. You're not there to sell it either way. Right. Yeah. Right. The, yeah. The, the individuals there to sell it. Right. Both. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. So, in addition to what we have in the cons, can we also include the fact that by not approving this dollar amount, it may limit the ability of uh, the ability of people with disabilities to utilize the uh, yes. facility. Yes. That is a good one. Yes, I mean, exactly. I think that's kind of the point of the yep. large point in the I would agree. proposal. Whether or not you agree with it or not. Right. Well, right. Again, well, this was a con, someone the con. By so. not approving this article.
limit the ability of people with Would not be accessible to people with disabilities. Okay, but okay, by not approving this article, we would significantly limit the ability. I do, you would even take it down. So, by not approving this, the Brass Rail Meeting House would not be accessible to people with disabilities okay. or guests with disabilities. You might even say. This is in the cons. I hate to go down that road because. I think you're opening yourself to any other business that has problems with ADA. Yeah, I, I don't think. I don't. You're, I don't like that either. Right, you're mm -hmm. kind of heading down a road. So, I so want, everybody. I don't want to. So anybody that has any, an issue with ADA is going to be come to, to the town. To the CPC yeah, I. Don't I them. don't like that. Uh, what's, what, I agree with that. I think we should just. It's kind of to, to the precedent. I don't want to go down. You know. It, it, I, I. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything problem. So we'll that. ignore that. Okay. We'll right. ignore that. We'll overlook that fact. That what? Uh, what yeah. you say? What fact? That the brass rail would... That it may impede the ability of disabled people to... Yeah, I charge a dollar more for your meal. I'm just saying. Thing, I'm just saying. You, you, want to, you, want to, you, you want to ignore that fact. I don't the, really care. That's the committee would issue. like to ignore it. Why? It's not ignoring it. They you have to deal with it. If, Why should we have to deal with it as taxpayers? Right. I would like to, that's not, we're dealing with it as a description of what the article right. is about. We're not dealing with it as tax. Yeah, but if you put something in there about, you know, the failure to be able to get them, you know, failure right. to pave your right. parking lot right. is, you know, it's going to impede right. whatever. I would, you know, I would like to leave the con just as just it is. I, it is. I, I would too. Kind of short it does yeah. not hold enough weight. And I, what the consensus read. is to ignore it. And it will be. Think the con is pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's why we're here to vote as a committee. Yeah. All right. So we're all set with the con now, as is. For article 13. All right. Article 14. Allen Treatment Debt Service. It was, except we changed the word third because it was a okay. second interest yeah. payment. Yeah. So this yeah. was yeah. Third. Yeah. All right. So we're all set with that. Yes. Pro, con. Yeah. All set with that. Article 15, Regional School District Budget. That's all set? Yeah. Wait, all a set. wait a minute, wait a minute. The numbers are different. That's article, article 19. 19 yeah. Article oh, yeah. 15. Good catch. Yeah. Okay, we're all set with the pro. Con is the same issue. 19 should be what, 15? Mm -hmm. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Okay, we're all set with Article 15. 16, Regional School District Debt Authorization. <coughs> that was also a uh, pre written issue. All set. All set. Sixteen. So, did we? Do we know how much debt fell off so that they could institute? Like the two hundred. I don't have that information for me. But usually, do because they're, they're usually up around five, six hundred thousand dollars. I just know that for a few years when. Um, they re redid the school. They agreed to bring it down to about three hundred thousand. But there was a, isn't there a number in the Warren article itself? Uh, the debt authorization is it two hundred thousand? I don't know. It's, it's under three hundred thousand dollars. But the way this is stating that um, a yes vote will allow funds from retiring bonds. So you got to make sure that what's falling off that not to me because it's a rolling debt. Right. Yeah, function. Right. function right um so it says uh up to the amount of two hundred thousand dollars that's what's in article 16. right his fund off is less than 
or is more than two hundred thousand dollars. So that's okay. So what else? That's what we want. But then the way this is worded, we need to make sure that. <laughs> yeah. Sure yeah. So it shows. Well, we don't have to qualify it as funds from retiring bonds. We just say bond, bond money. Allow bonding to be used to pay the new debt source of the capital school project. You don't have to get that particular. Uh, if you're worried that it's inaccurate. Good answer any questions. Money left in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to leave the retiring bonds in there right now because I know I like to know that it's not incurring more debt. It's more as debt. it falls yes. off, yes. then they can incur the debt. That's fine. That's what it's leaving. If you're we comfortable just have with to... it? You're comfortable with that? I'm yeah. comfortable with it. Yeah, the retiring is because it's like, okay, well, we just got this paid off, but this is all right. So, okay. That one's retired. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, because oh, I just don't want to lose right. that fact. Because going right. forward, they right. can come back and ask for seven, eight hundred thousand right. dollars, and it, right. bring them back to, hey, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. It, it's usually what's retiring, falling off, is what you're limited to. All right, so we're all set with that. Yeah. Everybody good? Hans, okay. Can we just change? I just change equipment because we say school capital projects, so it should match. A no vote will not allow the placement of needed school related capital projects or allow the um, capital yes, allow, allow something with oh, to do with capital expenditures. Equipment is usually not capital for the most part. On what it, is. No, <laughs> it just needs to match. No, it's just, just give it back to me to make the yeah. change. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So, no capital vote. on the top and then equipment on the bottom. I just think the verbiage needs right. to no complement each other. So, it's it's related, related equipment and just capital projects. Oh, to related yeah. capital projects. Yeah, yeah. fine, Same whatever. Thing. Yeah. Just matches it, so. Replacement of capital projects or addressing capital projects? Right. No Rather than replacement of school needed capital. The replacement of needed school related capital. I don't think items. It's capital items? No, I don't think it's because because they're not all items. Like the paving right. is not really an item. So right. a no vote will not allow capital school capital projects to match the wording for the pros that are going to be done or school capital projects. Exactly. My coffee was crap tonight, so my brain is not working. Will not allow a, the district to address certain capital expenditures. Yes, I like that. And detail could be determined on the floor. Okay. Address these. Uh, a no vote may not allow. Direct to address these capital expenditures. Yes. Yep. Exactly. Okay. All right. So I'll ask for a motion to approve the annual town meeting pros and cons six nine for article six nine ten eleven twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16 Make as written and amended. I will second. All in favor, Art I. Aye. Richard I. Terry I. Karen I. Alita I. Okay. That's done. Now we have a final version of the warrant in here. Which basically, 100% document compared to the last one we probably looked at, which was what, 95 or 98% complete. So these are substantially the same, uh, probably for, do you have any 
concerns or questions or comments about them. I mean, it's basically just for your reference going forward. This is what should actually appear at town meeting. Have any other comments about the work? All right, we're all set with that. Okay, under uh, new businesses next on the agenda, uh, since we have select select indeed here tonight, I was uh, I had heard that we uh, the town is going to be receiving monies for the engineering and design of Richmond. So, Great, the Brook, yep. Great Brook, and the, and, and the canal, and the canal yeah. both sides, South Pond, yeah. Yeah, but then, uh, so Jody, 585 Hills Road, South of Mass, for Selectman, this is my opinion. So don't hang me tomorrow for it. <laughs> so, Lady Nell, stay back and forth. The state has funded a full number. Preliminary. Thank you. Well, I can say Terry Mitch, but I can still ask. <laughs> so, to fund the first piece of this, which they've never, you couldn't even, we've never gotten this far. So, they've already have a company in mind that's going to come out and do the evaluation. If it passes muster, then we go to round two, and then round three would be the construction. But this year is actually going to get the muster test, I guess. And so we'll have we'll have engineering and that sort of thing. Yes. Done. Well, not done. They, they do their preliminary to make sure we, you know, qualify. Like these two, oh, okay. these right. two pieces actually, we all know they qualify, right? You know, Dick's been telling everybody for 30 years they qualify. So now, now let's finally send someone out to approve that, and then we get allowed to go to the next phase. So that means our project is on their radar, which is good. Finally, right? Which is good. Which is huge. Huge. Yeah. Yep. You sort of give Dick somebody to call. Um, so do we want it to rain more or rain less? Or rain more. 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 more control either way. Well, well, I got, I got, yeah, I got people too. But I, I'm not, yeah. What's the timeline on that? Um, they're writing the press releases today. I sent in a quick uh, <laughs> quote. Um, so hopefully it comes out on the paper tomorrow. Okay. And then it'll, that process begins. Okay. It's just huge that they even found us. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. That's awesome. Well, that's very good news. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, it's been a well, well identified yes. piece. And how much has the taxpayers of Southwood paid between the lake treatment and everything else we've done, right. which is fine. No, no complaints. But it's nice to see the state finally right. recognize. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they blew a million dollars in the last few years. Oh, they, they preserved a piece of it from other companies. Well, seeing it's actually their lake. Thank you. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're, they're they're I'm fixing it. So yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. That's good. That's good news. We get some. We get some of our money back. All right. That's the key thing to remember. Here. It's not a grant. We're getting some of our money back, which is a good thing, I think. So, uh, is there any other new business for tonight? I did want to just kind of mention a couple things uh, about attending the annual meeting, annual town meeting. Uh, that just a reminder that we'll all be up front. Uh, suit and a tie or a dress or whatever there, but you know, dress, you know, you're on the beach professionally, right? Um, at our, uh, we'll have name tag things out in the front. Um, and uh, usually we have a packet there that has probably the same thing in here with the, um, and again, you, if you want to check with Robin to see exactly what, what we have there, uh, normally we have that blue thing there that's the um, uh, report in the finance committee that has all of that stuff, usually that's in our packet too. And then we'll also have, we have the big thick. <laughs> um, we have the thicker one, that's the annual report. The annual report, will that be up top too or no? I'm just, 
the reason I asked mean the is, book form? That's the book, book form. form. Yeah. Uh, the reason I asked this because I'm, I'm I'm guilty of it every time that I you walk in they have this table laid out with all of this papers and all that stuff and you collect it all and then you get up top and then you find out oh you already got it all in the back. Um, so that one. I don't remember if we normally have that, but I, I think normally that. we have that, that. Yeah, it's usually in the finance, the warrant articles, the explanations. Which we got. Yeah, know. the pros and cons. Um, I'll include the um, scripts for both the annual town and the special town meetings. Right. Yeah. And that will say also what whether just I mean it's yeah. not up to us, but uh, whether we need a, a majority or whether it's a super they majority. Votes. So it's not either yeah. two thirds or it's you know, it's a majority. That's really just so you know. Yeah. Um, if you want it. Yeah, there are a few other little miscellaneous things that, right. but we try to make sure that everybody has everything they need. In the packet, right? Both on um, finance and the select board side, right? Um, so, again, save yourself walking through. And again, if you get there early enough, you can, if there is something that was missing, you can always go down and get it. Or if somebody's got some advertisement that you know, for the brass rail or something free, you know, $25 off tickets or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, our special is what six six thirty. Yeah. Wait, sorry. Special is six 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 p.m. Yeah. Sometimes we schedule a tentative meeting just prior to the special time meeting in case we have some last minute business. But I don't see any last minute business. I know, but let's do it because anyway. this group has managed to get ahead of the curve for the first time in a lot of years, yeah. so we don't have to have a last minute meeting. Right. Uh, but if we give four people there, I think we, you know, it doesn't hurt to have one, uh, put a put a thing in that we're going to have one at six. Uh, no, five forty-five. Five forty-five. I don't think we, you know, whatever it is, if there's a vote needed that we missed, and we've done votes at at that for a few times, I would say let's let's be there for that. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. 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 So that's an in-person non-hybrid recorded. Yeah. Yeah. And that needs to be posted as well as a regular meeting of the yeah. finance committee, just like a regular meeting. Oh, yeah. Five forty. Okay. Five forty-five. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, basically, we call that a consent agenda usually. You go in the front door and you're going to go. Because yeah. we don't it's, conduct any kind of unusual right business right or, right no or new that stuff. stuff. It would just be <laughs> yeah. to get yeah. stuff approved for the town meeting. The uh, moderator asked me to kind of get a hit count of who thought they'd be attending the town meeting. Because she's only going to put out so many chairs, and if you don't sign up ahead of time, you don't get a chair. So that's and if you come afterwards, they're going to pull it up from under you. just bring my kids' chair. All right. So maybe uh, we can communicate to Dave. Not to and Sheila. Let's find out whether he's going to come. And Sheila. And Sheila. Yeah, it does get tight up there, too. So make sure you shower. Make sure you shower, too. Wow. Uh, we're, you were at the last meeting. Did we were part of the. No, no. Never. It was just you and I last outside last time, wasn't it? That's it. Yeah, I wasn't. We had a. Um, I mean, we don't need a quorum technically, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we yeah, for, yeah, for the meeting ahead of time, but not yeah. for the annual yeah. special. Yeah. You're not you. You're attending. Pardon me. You're attending. Yes. Okay. I'm just right now. Right. 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 Uh, yeah. So that's yeah, that's so fine. I, I, I think yeah. you as the vice vice uh, chairman end up running the finance part of it because um got a blank on her name our chairman didn't show was it um linda basil oh yeah so you had to take over you know. yeah so you're in the big cheese so be there yeah she wasn't there last year right? yeah. yeah so you'd like me to reach out to sheila and, and wave yes please do okay. 
reach out to them. Gauge whether they think they may think it or not. But the other thing too is, um, I, you know, bring your own water. You want to do a thing water and uh, art uh, usually has, uh, what do they call us? Lifesavers. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, right. uh, you know. Something that you want. Savers. All right, so, so I got a shower, I got to brush my teeth, I got to bring water. I can't wear a skirt, it's optional. So, all right, so yeah, okay. I think we're looking pretty good. All right, so that's good. Everything else is normal up there. You can, you can speak up there. I mean, if you have, if, you know, if there's any of these things there that, you know, upset you or, you know, you want to speak detail. on or want to, or you have questions or whatever there, you're just the same as anybody on the floor. So they'll hand, they'll slide over the, uh, the microphone. Pretty much it. This, this select board refused to give us plexiglass for protection. Yeah. You know, on the stage, but uh, so far we're doing okay. All right, so that's uh, that's new business, old business, and your old business. We had a match plan update last night. That's good. All right. Uh, I guess we need a motion to make a motion. I will second. All in favor, Art I. Paul I. Richard I. Terry I. Karen I. Alita I. 